Hello gamer, welcome back to ZGC, my name is Aurelius and today we're getting into some Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia, but first make sure you hit that like button and we hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, you know that way whenever I post new videos you get a little notification saying there's a new Evolution video up. And I know that makes a lot of uh, your guys' day. Um, second thing, be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Details will be down there in the description. As you can see by the screen up here. Oh my goodness. The just plasma weapon research completed. You know, uh, oh my goodness. And we can now get weapons and armor up to S rank. Ooh, little conversation. All right. Uh, Ares is now complete. Uh, Dominator's armor. Yeah, I'm just reading through this real quick. I hopefully this isn't too long because I do want to show you guys something with uh, with the futures project and everything too so um, and then we'll see what it will take to actually build these plasma weapons because I very seriously doubt they're just gonna give us to fr to to uh, us for free um, all right it looks like our next target is going to be Zorin's and uh, there's this fortress and it's see right there a nice little crystal mine that'd be so useful <laughs> but uh let's come back up to here um there should be little screen going up showing that you can show or do more than one research at a time in here as long as you have the resources you know um you know, that last video, dude, for whatever reason, I just cannot get it to upload via my editing app. It, it was crappy, so you got the raw, uncut version. But you see, we still got plenty of research to do. But you, you don't have to wait until a research is finished before you can actually uh, start a new project. So you, once you have the resources, you can just go ahead and research. You see, we got one going now. And I didn't really want to do that. Because <laughs> these crystals take forever to make. But you see 6, 30, 6 hours, 35 minutes down there. And this one is going to take a whole day. Another thing with the research is if you tap one of these, you can just use these resources to complete the project. You know, you can even do it down to two so if you're like really hurting on like crystals and biofuel you mean you could do it with just biofuel it's going to take much longer to do and it's going to cost you a whole lot more more uh resources but you can still accomplish it that or still accomplish that so you don't have to worry about coming out of your pocketbooks and paying these Precious, precious gems to complete research. Just keep in mind that it will cost a bit more. And, and, uh, yeah, I'm losing my train of thought here. It will cost a bit more <laughs> and, and, um, will take a bit longer. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's come over here to the workshop and see. If we can actually make the plasma weapon, no. Okay. Um, it didn't look like any new research got unlocked either. Uh, no. Huh. Are the plasma weapons not in the game yet? Is that what's going on here? I'm afraid to come over here and like just find <laughs> plasma weapon frags in here. Okay, that's the tornado machine gun right yeah so doesn't look like the plasma weapons are actually in game yet 
Ooh, this is probably just some um, free, free uh, medals. Zorn's Fortress. In case you guys wanted to read that, you can freeze frame right there. <laughs> and go from there. Uh, yeah, uh, just. Uh, why did I do that? All right, so yeah, we got some researches going. Uh, my major, my my next project is as much as I want stasis grenades. I just need ways to get crystals and reduce the time. So next thing I'm working towards is this one right here. Reduces uh, time of all manufacturing processes by two times. So it cuts everything in half. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't know how this would work. I'll probably make this a priority as well. That way I can show you guys or show off that feature. And you know what that actually does um, if it's just related to the Chosen One armor or if once we have this, like if we die, we get revived for 10 seconds. Because that would just be awesome as you saw in those last videos. Just those last minute deaths were just delivering killing blows to each other. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't look like we unlocked any more projects for the time being. I'm pretty sure there'll be more to come as they release more updates, which I should probably go troll Facebook and, and uh, see what kind of updates there are. But that two times manufacturing, like we come over here, you see this 12 hours for 100 crystals. It is absolutely insane. You know, um on top of of all the resources you have to go and gather and collect and everything like i've just been collecting biofuel and spending it on medicates because <laughs> i quite literally put two of these in process the other day and couldn't make any medicates for a day yeah that really really sucked <laughs> uh, one more thing i want to show you guys before we get out of here yeah i know actual combat this is just all about plasma weapon technology and this stuff um we finally hit scientific progress 127 i was so happy to get there until i saw this little thing down here the 600 crystals to refresh my mind like are you serious? I mean, with the 20% reduction, that should go down by 100, 120, somewhere around there. So it'll only be like 480, you know, tops or 500 tops. But yeah, I just, ah, it just, just made me so mad because you see, I'm maxed out on magnetite up there. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and actually just make a couple of these. And I've just been doing executions, you know, for for uh, biofuel. And that's it. Because these crystals are the most important thing right now. Just because we haven't really been, had a chance to talk about it. And I was hoping that, like, on the map here, too, like, some of these stages would start dropping uh crystallite as well but it doesn't seem to be the case and it doesn't seem like you can get it from a uh, player basis either so that means you have to sit there and spend all that time producing you know uh this crystallite as you see we've got three orders in there for 300 crystallite it's 12 hours it's 36 hours i won't be able to use my manufacturing thing at all which means if i need med kits or anything like that for the next 36 hours i won't be able to make those i mean you could always tap on the on them and speed up for gems you know that's a big fat 120 that's like 100 gems <laughs> per or one gym per hour which isn't bad considering this is one gym per minute you know so on the grand scene scheme of things these are actually pretty cheap to complete using gems, but nobody wants to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, this is why ah, I keep coming back out to the world map. This is why uh, this little project right here is going to be so valuable because it will cut that production time to to uh, six hours. And uh, 36 hours I'm waiting now 
turns into 18. And, you know, along with all the other good stuff you can make in your workshop. Like the grenades. And I know these G3 grenades take a little bit of time to make, too. I do believe it's nine minutes. Uh, this is not going to show us how long it's going to take to make these. Because we don't have any room in our inventory. Wait, we can <clears throat> cancel this, right? Oh, we can't cancel orders anymore? That sucks. Alrighty. <laughs> I think the G3 grenades take about nine minutes. So that would be cut to four and a half minutes. Make your tournament runs go that much smoother. Speaking of tournament runs, if you're not following me on Discord, I did post the results of this tied for fourth. It should be third. It should be third. Like most people who have a, a ranking system like this, this would make it third. And yeah, this guy would still be fifth because there's four players up. But for whatever reason, their system uh, lowers the rank in case of a tie. You know, and uh, I could have done better on some of these. Uh, my wife was distracting me on this one in particular, that 40 there, which just could have gave me that little edge to get third place, possibly even second place. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there wasn't much room for, for mistakes here. You know, and I did definitely make a few couple and did not clear a couple of waves on time and as a result just fourth place but uh now that we can get s weapons we might as well use up our tournament points and open up some chimera assault rifle boxes that's gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it up before this video i hope you guys did enjoy i hope you learned a whole lot about futures and how to use their system and everything and <laughs> what research you should go for first um one of the things i was trying to say in the videos that went up uh last week was i am planning on making a tips and tricks videos so down there in the comment section let me know what aspects of the game you would like to know more about or just get better ideas on how to do certain things you know what i'm saying because i definitely take that into consideration and and possibly put it in the tips and tricks video so anyway i hope you guys all have an awesome awesome day and i'll see you later gamer